How to connect the private automation hub with automation controller? Let me show you in this small guide. So first of all, we need to log in to our automation hub. Let me use admin and the password. Once we are inside, you have a first dashboard that display all the collection, but you need to scroll down on the left menu from collection, there is a one item called API token. In this screen, we can generate a new API token to be able to connect to our, our private automation hub. This new token we need to copy and save in a safe place or connecting directly to the automation controller. Now, Please remember, every time we generate a new API token, the old token will be automatically disabled. So be careful. Now, let me log in to the Ansible Automation Controller. So let me connect again with username and password. And uh, I'm inside. Okay, so this is the main dashboard that shows our playbook execution and all the jobs template. Let me move down to the credential. It's very important uh, that we have a new automation hub uh, credential. So let's create and let's name it accordingly. Automation hub on the credential type, we select Ansible Galaxy Automation Hub API token. Let me scroll down and enter the address of my server. In my case is AA automationhub.example.com and let me specify the API token that we just copied before. As you can see, it's exact the same number. Cool. If everything is correctly set up, we just need to select the organization, in my case default, and let me save it. Great. Now we have a new credential named Automation Hub and we are inside the details. So if we uh, list all the available credentials, there is a new one named Automation Hub. One thing that might be handy is going to setting and under the jobs setting, there is a one setting that is called is specifically to disable SSL certificate validation for Galaxy and Automation Hub. This is very interesting, especially if you are in a laboratory or development environment and you don't have a, like a fully qualified certificate. So we just need to edit and uh, there is this voice called Ignore Ansible Galaxy SSL Certificate Verification. Be sure to turn it on in a development environment. Of course, in a production one is a good, uh, is a good protection having this also enabled. Uh, in the past, there was also some other setting inside the miscellaneous area, but now we don't have anything. So let's move to the organization and let's associate the automation hub credential with our organization. So let me scroll it down and let's remove everything and select uh, the credential. This is very, be mindful to select in the correct order. So just in case you want Automation Hub and then Ansible Galaxy, you need to select one after another. As you can see, there is a number and this is very important. Otherwise, you can get some uh, collection collision. Cool. Now, as you can see, the credentials are associated to my organization and we can move forward our automation journey. So now we can create a project and uh, start fetching the collection directly from our automation hub. This is very uh, handy, especially in uh, custom made collection. So you are able to reference using your private automation hub. Cool. Now let's automate more. Yay.